welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, the way... Here, here's the thing. I want to make something clear. The way I, I do my job is I make myself aware of what happened today, what everybody's talking about. Then I try to make sense of it for you <laughs> with some jokes. So we can all go to sleep. <laughs> well, I know I'm going to be staring a hole in the ceiling tonight because <laughs> I have no explanation for what happened this afternoon. The president invited members of Congress for a bipartisan meeting to address gun violence in America. And I think that's great. We need to find any solution that does not involve an imaginary Donald Trump stopping an attack with karate. <laughs> okay? I think that's, I think that's, that's karate. That's karate, isn't it? <laughs> now... Trump immediately made clear the real obstacle to gun control, Barack Obama. 97% of Americans right. want universal background checks. There's nothing else like that. Where it works, people want it, and we can't do it. But you uh, have a different president now. You have a different president. We had 54 votes in 2013, and most of those 54 voters are still in the and Senate. And you didn't have a lot of presidential backup. Uh, <clears throat> president president was Obama did support it, but... But that was your problem. We're just afraid that President Obama would take it further and take more rights away. That's what I was running into in West or Virginia. Or use that as an excuse not to sign it. Well, <clears throat> this is because he was not proactive in getting a bill signed. Yeah, I, I remember. I distinctly remember how the Republicans were begging Obama to sign the GOP gun control bill. <laughs> But Obama couldn't get it done because Americans demanded to keep their guns to shoot down all the flying pigs. Wow. Now, here, here's right, right out of their butts. But oh, here's where it gets weirder. Trump turned on the Republicans in the room. You're afraid of the NRA. Some of you people are petrified of the NRA. They have great power over you people. They have less power over me. I don't need it. I don't, what do I need? Uh, a conscience, uh, a shred of dignity, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm gonna say <laughs> like a salad once in a while. <laughs> okay, now uh, uh, at one point they were talking about a universal background check law, uh, and to prove that he was not afraid of the NRA, Donald Trump told Republicans they had to drop their provision allowing concealed carry permits across state lines. You'll never get this passed. If you add concealed carry to this, you'll never get it passed. Again, you'll never get it passed. He's... He's being reasonable? <laughs> Jimmy, can we cut to the camera inside my skull right now? What's happening? God, she's... God, she's really loud. I, I gotta give credit to Donald Trump. I, I never thought he'd go there. But not only did he go there, he went way past there to a place no one had a ticket for. <laughs> you see, when Vice President Pence suggested an early intervention system that would allow courts to take away people's guns after a hearing, Trump said this. Position or might individual. take the firearms first and then go to court. Uh, I like taking the guns early. Take the guns first, go through due process second. Well, he's finally doing something Obama never did. He's coming for your guns. Oh. And that's... Uh, that's groundbreaking. And that's not the only gun control news today. The CEO of Dick Sporting Goods, I assume it's Dick, announced... <laughs> that his company will no longer sell assault-style rifles. Well, that is great news. That's great news. Yeah, that's good news. That's, that's great good news. news. But yes. as good as that is, yeah. as, as, as good as that news is, it raises the question, Dick Sporting Goods was selling assault rifles? <laughs> Who else is selling weapons at the mall? Does Yankee Candle have flamethrowers? <laughs> Eat lemon lavender, mother... Big. That was really big. Yeah. I have to say, I'm impressed that Dick Sporting Goods has heard the outcry against these dangerous weapons 
and that they have acted in a socially responsible manner, especially considering this decision is definitely going to anger the NRA. I guess what I'm saying is this prove Dix has balls. Here's... <laughs> now... Now, there's, there's more trouble for White House senior son-in-law and guy watching the hostess seat that family that arrived after him, Jared Kushner. <laughs> At this point, I almost feel sorry for him. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> Yesterday, we found out that Jared's security clearance was being downgraded and that he lost access to top-secret intelligence. I don't know. He's done a very good job of keeping his intelligence secret. <laughs> but now... So I understand. So I understand. So I understand. But... Now we're learning why he's not trusted with top-secret intel. It turns out officials in at least four countries have privately discussed ways they can manipulate Jared Kushner, and the White House is concerned that Kushner was naive and being tricked. I mean, it's no surprise. He's a complete amateur who has never served in the government, and he's up against seasoned international negotiators. It's like they're playing chess, and he's eating checkers. <laughs> These, these manipulating countries include the United Arab Emirates, China, Mexico, and Israel. So how did Netanyahu get the U.S. to move our embassy to Jerusalem? He went to Jared. <laughs> In fact... <laughs> Are they a sponsor? Are they a sponsor? I don't know if they're a sponsor. <laughs> In fact, some of these countries said they wanted to deal only with Kushner directly and not more experienced personnel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want to deal with Jared. Otherwise, you have to face hardened veterans like Ivanka. <laughs> According to Vanity Fair, in the John Kelly era, Jared and Ivanka have both seen their bailiwicks dramatically shrink, and they have not been happy about it. Oh, nobody likes seeing their bailiwick shrink. <laughs> That's why I swim in heated pools. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the smart choice. <laughs> and a friend of the couple told reporters that Ivanka is fighting for her life. And after her recent trip to the Olympics, Kelly remarked that Ivanka is just playing government. To be fair. Playing government was one of Ivanka's favorite games as a child, along with pin the tail on the maid and hungry, hungry, hungry people. <laughs> so, how's all this gonna end? According to one White House official, the couple known as Javanka and Kelly are locked in a death match. To enter, only one survives. How married are we to this one survives thing? <laughs> what if none survives? What if it's like a... Mexican standoff and... It's a, it's a Mexican standoff of people who really don't like Mexicans. <laughs>